These are the instructions for an origami wallet. So for this origami wallet, I'm going to use six inch paper, but if you want one that's more life size, you might want to use 12 or even a little bit larger. This will be a smaller version of the wallet. The first step, go ahead and pick a sheet and then start with the color side up. And we're going to fold a book fold where you want the bottom edge to go all the way up to the top edge and make sure they, nice and they line up nice and precisely. So once they get right on the right spot, go ahead and make a good crease across the bottom and open that up. Now we're gonna do the other book fold as well. So go ahead and take the bottom edge on the other side and fold it up. So that's gonna give us a good plus sign in the middle of the paper. We can find out exactly where the middle of the paper is. Next, we're gonna flip it over, looking at the white hand side, and we're going to fold two corners at the top. We're gonna to make two blintz folds where those two corners are gonna come exactly into the middle of the paper. And again, you wanna be nice and precise as accurate as you can be so that they're right up next to each other, but they're not overlapping at all, like that. Next, we're gonna take the bottom edge right here and fold it up to meet those corners, right up like this. So there should be little to no white showing. You want all the colors on top there. Next, open these two flaps up, right like this. And we're going to now fold those two flaps into the middle, just like this. So they're now going to line, they're going to lie right on that line that we created when we folded this down. So we open it up, fold it down right onto that line. And do the best you can to try and make it so that they don't slide over too much. Just try and get them where they come straight into that center line. Next, we're gonna do a kite fold. So go ahead and take this top edge right here and right here, and we're gonna rotate that over so that it lines up right on that line that we created with the, dot, with the blintz fold. So go ahead and fold that down, come over to the other side, and fold that one down as well, just like that. Next step, we're gonna rotate those down one more time they're going to come down on both sides like that. That's using the crease that we already created. Next, flip the entire model over and we're going to fold these two points, these two edges right there, we're going to fold those into the middle. Go ahead and rotate that over. Fold that down. You see how it lines up right on that middle line? Like that. right over like that. The next step after we fold these two guys in is we're gonna take this bottom edge and we're going to fold it up. And there should be a good line right there already developed. We can fold that right on and it should end up right at the base of this triangle right there. And then lastly, we're gonna fold this triangle down over the top. Just like this. There's a couple of flaps of paper there, but that's all right. Go ahead and fold that down over the top of it. And what that's going to do, once that flap is down there, we're going to open up these two flaps right here and tuck that triangle inside those two flaps of paper. And once that happens, you can see we've created an entire billfold. You can fold it in half. And it makes a nice little wallet, just like that. It opens up, and that's where you would put the bills. And that is an origami wallet.